Hi everyone, my name is Atiyah Walcott and welcome back to another video. Alright, so I recently got some clothes in from Vince and I was so blown away by the quality. I got these clothes gifted from the brand for some work that I'm doing for them over on Instagram, but I was like, I need to style these clothes on YouTube because they are so nice and such high quality. So let's style some clothes. Most of the clothes are really work appropriate. So I thought let's style outfits for the office. I'm wearing the most beautiful silk skirt from Vince. Look at the way it moves. It's just gorgeous. I really love this skirt. It's a two paneled skirt. Gorgeous, and I've paired it with a cardigan from H&M and a blazer from Everlane, and this is a linen blazer. I love the texture. I love that it's a little wrinkly, but I want to warn you, if you wear linen to work, it will be wrinkled by the time you come home. Every time you sit down, stand up, it's going to wrinkle, so be warned. Let me add a work bag so I can finish off this look. I found the bag, it was right here. This is look number one for the office and I've paired it with this studio bag from Everlane. I love how big this bag is. You can fit your laptop and your lunch in here if you need to. I love a big oversized bag for all the times that I've worked in the office. I've worked in two different offices. The shoes are kitten heels, a pointed kitten heel from Manolo Blahnik. I love a kitten heel and that is the highest you will catch me wearing to the office because you don't want your feet to hurt. Fashion break. And this is what is underneath the blazer. If you're like me, you need to wear layers to the office because you sweat. <laughs> so yeah, this is the underneath layer, this beautiful cardigan. It's from H&M and I really love this cardigan. And let's get into the next look. Okay, look number two. You cannot tell me anything in this outfit, okay? Ooh, I think dressing confidently to the office will up your game, it will make your colleagues respect you, it will make you feel good in your own skin so you can respect and treat yourself well. I don't know, this outfit is just gassing me up. I absolutely love it. I'm wearing flats from Dolce Vita. I have these little tights. These tights are one of the best accessories I own. If there's anything you take away from this video, let it be these little tights and this black turtleneck. So this is from Vince. I don't know for certain, but I believe it's 100% cotton. This shirt is so breathable. It is so soft. It is so comfortable. I am in love with this little turtleneck top. I just recently posted a video styling this turtleneck top like 20 different ways. Hi, little roomie. You have something on your nose, baby? What's on your nose, baby? Okay. So one thing I liked about the first outfit is that it was sort of a monochromatic look. Again, this outfit is also monochromatic. And then I wasn't sure what bag to pair this with, but I think, I think you can get away with wearing the Falabella by Stella McCartney. Yeah. So I've paired the outfit with the Falabella by Stella McCartney and I put my laptop in here so you can see that you can fit a laptop in here. So if you drive into the office, I do think that this is an option and let's add a blazer and then a fashion break. Stop. This is my aesthetic to a T. I'm actually about to go away on a modeling trip and I think I might wear this outfit, but I added this blazer, which is on sale right now from Aritzia. It's called the Millions Blazer. It will be linked below. I love this look. Right, look number three. Like I said, I love monochromatic looks, but I also believe you can't go wrong with a nice pop of color. Here I have this sort of mossy green cardigan. I love this cardigan so much. And the buttons are pearls. It's so beautiful. I have paired it with these slacks from Vince. You need some good slacks in your office wardrobe. And I believe these are a little fashion forward because they're not that fitted. So I do think this will elevate your office outfit if you can get away with sort of some slightly oversized slacks. But I still think this look is beautiful. I've added a pair of glasses. Always make you look fashionable and studious. These are the Gabriella from Warby Parker and some statement earrings that are Shushu Tong and I've paired it with the studio bag from Everlane and another pop of color in the shoes, which are from La Rode. Fashion break. Nice to meet you, Suru Aisats. I'm so happy, arigataina. I get money, I'm a star, 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 star. 
Alright, outfit number four. I love this outfit. Oh my gosh. I don't know how comfortable a button up to work is. Like, I don't feel like I could lift my arms above my head right now without messing up the tuck. Anyway, I love this freaking outfit. The only thing I'm unsure about is this bag. You can definitely wear this to work, meaning it has the size to carry your iPad, your wallet, everything you might need, even your lunch. But it seems like a little bohemian, a little casual for work, but it's always fashionable to mix up styles. So I think you could definitely wear this to the office. The button up is stunning. It's from Vince and I cuffed it all the way above the arm, which I think is gorgeous. And then I have a pair of striped trousers from Me and M and a belt from Aritzia that is super nice. I believe it's brass and the belt is leather. And this is look number four. Look number freaking five. I am, I love office core. I love this outfit. I really do. I put my laptop in this bag just to see if it could work. It really can't, but it goes with the look. So we're going to wear it. The bag is from Madewell. Brown suede is in this season. Okay. I have a brown suede jacket from Vince. I think this is one of the most beautiful pieces of clothing I've ever owned. This brown suede jacket, it's truly beautiful. So we have a monochromatic vibe with this beautiful denim. This is denim for the office. Shh. A beautiful brown skirt from Me and M and some knee high brown suede boots from Dolce Vita. Let me know if you think I can get away with this denim look. Also, the glasses have stayed on for the rest of the video because if I was working in an office, realistically, I would wear my glasses every day. Wow, I also kind of look like a Berkeley college student from the 70s. I don't know, but I think I could wear this to the office. Look number six is a little more fashion forward. It's another denim outfit, and I'm not sure if everyone can get away with wearing this to the office. My mother is a corporate lawyer, and I saw her get dressed for work every day for many years, and I think that's why I have an affinity for corporate fashion. However, I do not think she could have worn this number. However, in 2024, I do think she can wear this number to work. This is a denim set from Vince. There is a pencil skirt with the matching jacket. I love this denim jacket. I cannot wait to style it so many ways and then the bag is dragon diffusion it's in a very bright red so i would carry this to work however they make the same bag in a brown color and sort of more muted neutral tones and that's what i would opt for but i think a dragon diffusion bag is such a good work bag option you will be so freaking fashionable go on dragon diffusion look for a bag you like and buy it okay love you Outfit number seven, and I'm bloody obsessed. I love it. This is another outfit. I'm not positive if it's work appropriate. It's, it's going to depend on the office where you work. This is why it's questionable, because this is leather. Like, leather is kind of a sexy material, hot material. If this were a cotton skirt, a linen skirt, I would be very confident saying you could wear this to the office. But heck, I worked at a PR firm in LA, and if I showed up in this, I would have been the best dressed person in the office. I already was. The button up is from H&M. The blazer is from Old Navy. I found it in the sales section and I love it. The skirt is Vince. This leather skirt is stunning. It is buttery soft. Like it's so, t feel the skirt. Tell the people what you think. How soft is it? Yeah. This is really nice. I don't think he thought it was soft. I said, how soft is it? He said it was really nice, but he said it was nice. That still counts. Just feels really nice. The loafers are men's loafers. They're from H&M. I have a size 42 foot. So if I want something like a loafer, I sometimes just look in the men's section because I know they'll have my size. Oh, best outfit I've styled in the video so far. I've done minimal jewelry all video. I think minimal jewelry is chic for the office. Outfit number eight, we're back to all black. This is a crushed silk skirt and jacket combination from Eileen Fisher. I have my Stella McCartney Falabella, and then I have a blazer that I can throw on top to sort of make this look seem a little bit more formal. I feel like workwear is all about the layers. If you're sitting at a desk all day, you're gonna put your hair back, you're gonna take your blazer off, but let's put the blazer on. And I'm wearing this turtleneck from Vince. This is like the most versatile. This is an essential, a wardrobe essential. Wow. Wow. 
This is a little much for the office because it is a backless blazer, so I would have to tie these two straps down, but you could definitely get away with it and you would just be so fashionable. So fashionable. This is such a good outfit and I would definitely pair this with the red dragon diffusion. I think since the whole outfit is so muted and so dark, the red pop of color is just so chic. This is office approved. You could wear this as a lawyer. I think I look like, like a British lawyer in this look. I love this outfit. This is another work outfit slay. I'm wearing pointed kitten toe heels from Madewell. I have on those socks I was talking about earlier. I've worn them the rest of the video since I put them on. I love these socks. They're again, one of my favorite accessories of all time. The studio bag by Everlane. And I also, so have on a skirt by Aritzia. It's called the Crescent Skirt. I have a blazer from Mango, which I've rolled up above my elbow, or it's supposed to be. And then peeking through underneath is this ruffled button-up from Me and M. This is the last outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.